Hey guys, D Mike here for their episode of Super Nintendo Sundays. We beat off level one earlier, took down that nasty tree, Wispy, and we are on to level two. Although, I don't really know why these are called levels, it's more like world, but looks like Kine wants to give Kirby a good suck on Ripple Field. That's fun. And Octopus, whatever face, not okay with that. So once again, six levels and a boss. Ooh, this is a jamming tune, huh? One of the things that does throw me off about this game and playing it is just, and I don't know if this is just like, because I'm doing it wrong or something like that, but this game is so slow. Like I find myself double tapping to run so much. And I don't know if it's just like, if it's meant to be like that or if I'm like missing something, but man, it, this game just, you know, really, Chugs, which I mean doesn't make it bad. I guess it's like it's kind of one of the ch charming elements, I guess, of Kirby is that it's supposed to be kind of like a like a fun little jaunt. Also, this kind of looks like Swiss cheese. This door. Okay, so we have a choice between cat and bird. We've used bird and we didn't really use cat, so I will use cat now. Cats love cheese, right? That's the that's the normal thing, right? All right. Okay, so oh, so. Uh, that looks a little off. Cat can run, kind of roll Kirby into a ball and... Um, I'm not sure exactly what he's doing to Kirby. I hope Kirby can sense. I don't know what's going on here. All right, so this looks like we found... Um, this is probably one of those things where you're supposed to give this plant some sort of nourishment, but I don't know what that is, so I'm not gonna do it. Also, maybe I was supposed to pick bird. Oop, I did not mean to go back in that. Okay, the game's like, all right, I'll give you a second chance to uh, to redeem yourself, and I'm like, nah, I'm okay. I think the jump attack of this is kind of cool. <laughs> the cat looks a little, like, very determined to interact with Kirby in this way. Okay, so my guess is that these little, um, these little seedlings, whatever these are, these small plants that you're supposed to like give them a, uh, some nourishment. And I don't, I just don't know what that is. I'm not trying to be intentionally obtuse. I just literally don't know what I'm supposed to do with it. Cause there's always these like little characters at the end of every stage that you have the ability to to cheer up or like make happy in a certain way. And I have not, I've done that once with the guy with the weird baseball hat because I won his little mini game. But beyond that, I don't know really what I'm supposed to do. So this game is quite the enigma. I have no clue what I'm supposed to be doing. And that makes it fun, right? Like the best things in life are the ones where you don't know what you're doing. That's how the saying goes, right? Okay. So we have all of these things in here trying to, ooh, oh, maybe this is the guy. No, it is not. Okay, so that was fun. This green goo is helping us get to our destination. That's very kind. So that's kind goo. I appreciate that. Unlike in the Pikmin series, when the final boss of the game was very angry goo. And I don't like that. I don't like it when my goo is angry. It just seems rude. All right, looks like Kitty can, uh, even, I love I love the swimming animation where it's kicking its little back legs. That's very cute. Ooh, and there's the lollipop. Let's become a member of the lollipop guild for a moment. How about it? All right, and we get multiple multiple copy of Kitty. Let's get up here. This is fun. Oh, there's like a spark down there. What's happening? What is this? Is it a race? I have no idea what's happening. To be completely honest. Oh. <laughs> And we, uh, we run out of juice. That's uh, okay. So clearly we did a great job helping out this flower. I had a feeling this is what was going to happen. Oops. I am very sorry. And we will take the Maxim tomato, regain all of our health and roll our way out of here. Okay. Yeah, some of the, some of the things that like are in this game, we get to keep kitty, great. Some of the things that are in this game, I don't, I just don't quite understand, like, if they're meant to be. Like, the one thing that was the most confusing to me, well, these are the exploding uh, coconuts, or seed things, those are in 
remember those being in the original Kirby. Um, let's get a power up while we're at it. One of the things that's really perplexing to me was that in one of the levels there was like that. Um... Oh no, I don't. I don't want broom. Oh no, not this guy. Oh my gosh. I have no idea what I'm doing. All right, hold on. How do I get rid of you? Do I just hold on? We'll figure this out. Don't worry, ladies and gentlemen. Oh look, the fish have goggles. How cute is that? Look at that. All right. We're gonna go ahead and abandon the cat for a moment. As we can figure this out, Kirby's just gonna blow some bubbles for fun. Okay. So yeah, this seems more appropriate. We're at the beach and we have a chance to use Octopus and Kine. So we will actually use Kine the way that I think the game wants us to. This is much preferred to, oh, <laughs> to our last attempt where we didn't use Kine the way that we were supposed to and we hopped around on dry land. That is not what the game intended. So this seems like a bit of an auto-scroller. I don't really have much control over here. But man, I do actually like the water physics here. That's pretty nice. All right, let's go against the stream. Can we make it? Oh yeah, okay, so we can we can thrust forward and still make it. But yeah, what I was trying to say is there was that that 8-bit sprite of like the, the ninja thing or like the karate fighter. I probably just defended millions of people. And I don't know exactly what that was supposed to be. Okay, so this is cool. Kind can shoot out big bursts of fire. I like that. I feel like the fire power ups are my favorite, whether it's like the the burst of flame or like just this one. I feel like they're pretty fun. That one and like the spark ones. Anything that can make me go fast. Because this game is not. It is not fast. Okay. Would I interest you in some fire? <laughs> Makes like a little scrunchy face like no. I think it wanted me to bring an umbrella to the uh, to the friendship party, and I did not. So, that's a poo-poo on me. My bad, sorry, umbrella guy. Yeah, I don't understand what the point of that is. Unless there's supposed to be, like, some big final boss. Oh, here's Rick. Rick and Koo, which don't- either of them really, don't really feel appropriate. I haven't used Kine very much. Oh, I lost my power-up? What? What kind of butt nonsense is that? That's not cool. But we do have crabs, so that's fun. And we have an end of a level, so let's go ahead and dip in here. Oh, Umbrella Man is very salty. My apologies. I don't know what to do about that. The weather seems fine. I don't want to get your umbrella out. And we will collect ourselves a very minimal heart. No, it's not a heart. That is a star. Here on D Mike Industries, we are just beginning to learn about shapes. So you have to forgive us. This looks like there was an eel. And see, all the fish are currently experiencing a similar dilemma to me. Ow! Excuse me! We got the waddle dees swimming around in their little inner tubes. Very cute. Okay. One of my favorite things about Kine is that Kine sucks. So, take that however you will. But he's very quick underwater, so I do appreciate that. All right, so let's not deal with this. It looks like Kine's ability is basically just... Oh, now we're, getting, now we're getting sucked. I guess the game just thought, okay, like, what's a good way to utilize the fish? And they, they would say, okay, well, basically, if you can just have it shoot stuff out of its mouth, like, everything just shoots out of its mouth. Don't transform it, don't do anything like that. Just have it just have it shoot stuff out of its mouth. That's fun. Ooh, the shock power. I like that one too. I do actually find myself a little remiss because playing this game, you know, I think back to Kirby 2, that was one of my favorites. Kirby's Dream Land 2 for the Game Boy. And I had a good time with that. I feel like that one was really well balanced. And, but then again, that could just be nostalgia talking. And I feel like the ammo buddies were useful. I don't really feel like there's as much utility. Oh, nope. Oh, everything is going down down the toilet. Oh boy, here we go. Come back. I don't want, no, I don't want the goo. I will take that life though, because I was running short. Now I have 13 of them. Yeah, this weird goo thing is kind of annoying, but Rick kicking his little hamster feet is super cute. All right, come here. I don't like this because I have to get rid of my power and I can't, I can't suck this guy underwater. No underwater suckings at D-Mike Industries. Not an option. Ooh, here's another minigame. The eel. 
We might win this one's heart just because we'll be able to. Oh, I have no idea what this is asking me to do. Oh, it's trying to find where he is. Okay. So he's in the middle pot. I'm assuming this is going to be like Donkey Kong Country trying to find the item and it's going to get quicker every time. Okay. Okay, so it looks like he's in the final pot. This is starting to kind of elude my vision, so we'll see how well I do in this final one. It looks like he's in the final pot again. Third, third time's a charm. So I believe we have won his friendship. While Goo had the chance to watch. Okay. So successful friendship acquired. Maybe once per world is good. You know? How often do you need to make friends? Having... I'm more in, invested in having deep relationships. Not a ton of them. Cast your net deep, not wide. You know? That's what life's all about. According to me. With my, uh... Marginal amount of experience. Okay. So, oh! And we're dead. <laughs> I did not know that that was an auto-scroller, but I do now. So my apologies, Kirby. I just got you crushed for no reason. Oh, and I brought the goo out again. Okay. So... I like that whenever Kirby blows bubbles, it sticks its tongue out. That's a nice touch. Okay. So I think that this... I don't... Oh, this is why you get the firepower up. I gotcha. So you can keep up. Oh, and it died by getting crushed instead of me. That's amazing. I don't really have any good uses for the for the goo, so I don't really feel horrible about that, if I'm being completely honest. I don't know if that makes me sadistic, but as you guys know by watching this channel, there's a very... I have a very contentious level of perspective when it comes to goo. And in this game in particular, I hate the goo. I guess that's not really atypical, considering I hate the goo in every game I've played, so... This just reinforces that, especially that it limits... I, the goo is stuck to a button. It's like, it's mapped to the button. So I can't... I can't avoid the goo. But what I can do is make friends with eels. Friends with eels. We're friends with eels. They're slimy and gross, but not as gross as goo. Friends with eels. That was an original banger from the... That's my new hit single from D-Mike Industries' first album. Goo gone. Okay, so that was three levels and we made a new friend. The next time we will seem like we'll have an encounter with a gingerbread man. So thanks for watching everybody. This has been Kirby's Adventure in Dreamland 3 on Super Nintendo Sundays and I've been D-Mike and I'll see you next time. Bye.